Oh my, what's going on you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. And in this short breaking news style video, we're going to go over some great news that Moderna just released, which caused it to rise 8% in after hours trading. Okay, so um, if you guys are following Moderna, I assume a lot of you are, I'm sure. I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen this news already, but um, I just wanted to make this video to kind of get a conversation started and to let you guys know what I think will happen tomorrow and in the, in the coming weeks, uh, over the course of this week and coming weeks. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, obviously I have my uh, iPhone screen and the Robinhood app uh, mirrored onto, the, onto the, this screen. So yeah, this is the Robinhood app. Uh, we'll dive into this Wall Street Journal article that was just released like an hour ago. Um, it is titled Moderna up 8% after hours on FDA application for coronavirus vaccine candidate. Uh, Moderna Inc. rose 8% to 5209 after hours as the company submitted an investigational new drug application to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, for coronavirus vaccine candidate mRNA 1273. Moderna said it received initial feedback from the FDA on the design of a planned phase two study expected to begin in the second quarter. On April 16th, Moderna said it received a commitment of up to $483 million from the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority to help accelerate development of the potential vaccine. <gasps> okay. So yeah, great news. Um, again, I'll let you guys dive into more of the specifics. There are a few other articles on this. If you guys want to dive a little more into the, um, to the nitty gritty of, of this update. But for now, we'll just, uh, we'll just leave it at that. Good news. Again, the, uh, as of right now, the reality of, um, of the way these stocks will perform, so Moderna, Novio, Regeneron, Gilead, et cetera, will depend highly on the news. This is very news driven at this time. So again, I'm super stoked, obviously, because we are, uh, hopefully a lot of us are well positioned in Moderna. So this after hours move is great. Hopefully some of you guys have some, have some good contracts. We'll go up right now. It's a, uh, oops, sorry about that. Right now it's at 51.51, nice. Um, so yeah, up 7.2% after hours. It's a little under 8%, um, but I'm very, I'm very bullish. I'm very optimistic on how we'll perform tomorrow. I think tomorrow's gonna be a great day. We had a rough day today down nearly 6%. Yeah, down just over 6% of the low. So I really hope it didn't shake any of you guys out. Um, always remember guys with, with stocks that move, with stocks that are up <laughs> over 100% over three months, it's not crazy to see to see um, some corrections, some correction, some correctional movements. Okay, so um, you guys, if you believe in it like I do, um, I hope you do because uh, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'd know why I'm super bullish on the stock, and I, I, I truly feel there is great reason to be bullish on the stock right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see it hit $220 over the coming months. I know that might be a radical um, a radical statement. Um, but the reason I think that just you can see they IPO'd just over a year and a half ago, at like 22 bucks. Um, they are a far more valuable company right now. They are valuable to the world and uh, the <laughs> the service that they are providing and uh, have the potential to provide if, if successful is extreme. So I would not be surprised at all to see it 10 X $22 and hit $220 where we're currently at right now, sitting at $50. That's called just over four X. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see it oh, uh, 4x um, upon further good news. Again, this is very news driven. Um, be careful, you guys, with these companies. If you watch my Novio video, you know that I am I'm almost hedging um, my position. So I hedge my Moderna position with my Novio position just in the case that, say, a Novio happens to come out on top. Then at least I will gain from that because um, if one succeeds prior to the other, it will probably cause the other one to go down. So. Um, again, tomorrow is going to be a good day. Um, I can see it popping up double digits potentially. Um, but again, we'll, crazier things have happened. It could go down that uh, things similar to that have happened to positions I've had before. So don't get overly optimistic, but it would be very surprising to me if we see it fall and um, fall tomorrow. And it'd be very surprising to me if we didn't see it do well tomorrow too. Okay. So always remember you guys, this is a very news driven game at this point, but this is great news for Moderna. Um, We'll see if I choose to, to I actually add it a little more to my position today um, down when it was down around four or five percent. So very stoked on this. Um, I hope you guys are well positioned as well. Um, again, I did want to make this video almost just to get a conversation started. You know, I'll show you guys. Uh, I want to show you guys this. So actually, we'll, we'll, we'll minimize this. I just posted this on my Instagram um, earlier today, this morning. Um, so go follow my Instagram if, if you guys are interested in this kind of content. I, I'm a little more, um, 
I've been pretty consistent on YouTube, which is great, but I do post even more consistently on my Instagram. So the link's down below if you guys want to check it out. It's uh, at Waves Capital on Instagram. But I posted a screenshot of this chart this morning. And what this is, is a bull flag. So very traditionally, um, obviously, you can tell by its name, a bull flag. It's a very tr uh, historically bullish pattern. So this is what I had drawn up this morning. You can see this is kind of the flag flag stick. And then this uh, this lowering wedge makes the flag itself, okay? And again, traditionally very bullish. Um, it's holding this line of support well down right around $48. And yeah, again, historically when this, when this completes, it goes up. So, um, I mean, realistically got super lucky here with the news. It is now probably like right, right, what, right around here-ish. So it's right around here. Again, I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing take off over the course of this week and coming weeks. But again, it heavily relies on the news. Um, so I did want to just make this video just so you guys could, uh, I really want to engage with you guys in the comments right now. Let me know if you got how well positioned you guys are. Um, even let me know if, uh, if you did kind of panic sell today because it happens, it's all right. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get a conversation started and uh, just kind of get stoked with you guys about the good news that keeps coming and um, how that will reflect our positions, okay? So I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, drop a like on the video, please. If you, uh, if you appreciate the content, um, check out all the links below, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Always remember, make waves in these markets. Until next time, peace. A little quickie. All right, peace, guys.